Many years had passed since Joshua and the Israelites had defeated Jericho, Ai, and the kings of the land. God had allowed the Israelites to rest from battles against their enemies. Now Joshua was getting old. He gathered all the people of Israel because he had some important things to say to them. Joshua said, you have seen everything the Lord your God has done. He has fought your battles for you. The rest of the land will be yours too, just as the Lord your God promised. Therefore, Joshua continued, be careful to obey everything that is in the book of the law of Moses. Do not turn aside from it. Do not mix with the nations in this land or worship their gods. Keep clinging to God. He fights for you. So love the Lord your God. And if you disobey God, he will no longer help you win these battles. In fact, you will die here if you disobey him. Joshua reminded the people about the things God had done in the past. God had called Abraham and had given him a son, Isaac. He had given Isaac two sons, Jacob and Esau. Jacob's children had become slaves in Egypt, where God had sent Moses and Aaron. God had rescued the Israelites from the Egyptians, bringing them safely across the Red Sea. They had fought and won many battles because God was fighting for them. God had done so many great things for his people. So Joshua commanded the people, fear the Lord and worship him. Or will you worship false gods? As for me and my family, we will worship the Lord. The people replied, we will not abandon the Lord. We know how much God has done for us and we love him. Joshua warned the people, if you do abandon God to worship other gods, God will turn against you. He will destroy you. No, the people replied, we will worship the Lord. On that day, Joshua made a covenant with the people. He wrote it down and also set up a large stone under an oak tree. Joshua said, this stone will be a reminder of your duty to serve the Lord, who kept every promise in bringing you into this land. Then Joshua sent the people back to their homes. After that, Joshua died. He was 110 years old. As Joshua prepared for his own death, he left behind a legacy of obedience to God. And after Jesus' death and resurrection, he appeared to the disciples and left them with a legacy too, to obey him by making disciples of all nations.